What's up everybody? So I want to talk in this video about what I do <clears throat> when I don't feel well, particularly when I have a cold or I feel like I'm coming down with a cold and my throat is a little itchy or a little sore. What I like to do is make a cup of green tea with some raw honey and I'll drink that. And it's very soothing to the throat. It's good for the throat. Raw honey is a healing food, and I think that it should actually be used more often when people are sick. It supports the body. It supports the immune system. <clears throat> it's anti-inflammatory. It's antibacterial. So, those properties alone make it great for help fighting against the cold virus or the flu or whatever it is that's bothering you. <laughs> um, that rhymed. <sighs> Sam's a poet and I didn't even know it. So, green tea is also very anti inflammatory, antibacterial, and it's a great beverage. To drink not just because it's soothing for your throat but because it has a bunch of other health benefits like it can help decrease your risk of cancer it's good for keeping you young because of its antioxidants it's good to keep you slim because of the EGCG in it it's great for the metabolism so there's a lot of benefits of drinking green tea and when you put the green tea and the honey together, I find that it's the perfect combination um, of a warm, soothing drink when you're sick. But even when you're not sick, it's great to drink just regularly. Make it a habit because it helps keep you healthy. And whatever you eat that is good will contribute towards keeping you healthy and building and supporting your immune system. Unfortunately though, when a lot of people get sick, what are the first thing that they normally do? And I include myself in this, I've been guilty of it. We'll run to the supermarket and buy an over-counter medicine and while it does temporarily get rid of your symptoms, it actually extends, I think, the amount of time that you are sick because you're basically suppressing your body's natural ability to expel these toxins to get rid of those uh, viruses to fight off those viruses you're basically just putting it's, it's kind of like in a in a way it's kind of like if you have a flashing light on your dashboard in your car um, you can just you know cut the wiring and get rid of the flashing light temporarily but you don't really fix the root cause of the problem now if you just allow your body to <clears throat> fix the root cause of the problem if you support those systems in place to help do that you will typically get better a lot quicker at least that has been my experience and maybe that doesn't work for you I don't know because everybody is different, so I understand that. But I'm just telling you from my point of view, like, um, when I'm sick, I make sure that I drink my green tea with my honey, I try to drink lots of water, and I try to get a lot of rest. And, and usually, when I do that, I get better really fast. Especially if I take, like, vitamin D, omega-3, and maybe a few other supplements here or there. And I try to avoid sugar as best as I can and eat a really clean, healthy diet. That, that helps tremendously as well. Because sugar actually suppresses your immune system. So if you're feeling like you're going to get sick or you are sick, eating sugar is probably the worst thing that you can do. Because it, it keeps your body um, from giving you the best chance of fighting it off. So you want to you want to you know keep away f or at least cut way back on the sugar. 
So, usually though, when I get sick, it'll hit me really fast. Like, you know, within a matter of hours sometimes, I'll get sick. I'll get a sore throat, a runny nose, stuffy nose. I might get a fever. If I let it run its course, within about a couple days, I'm usually feeling a bit better. Now, if I get hit with something really hard, maybe four or five days. But the point is, I usually typically get better a lot quicker than other folks who are taking a lot of medicine. So, let the body do its natural thing. I'm not against medicine. Um, as long as it's used responsibly, because it can be helpful in situations where the pain is excruciating for people. Or if you've had a fever for a very long time and it's very high, then it's good to try to get that down. Uh, but, but usually fevers and all that stuff is actually good because that's your body's way of fighting it, fighting it off. And you don't want to suppress your body's natural ability to do these things. We have a very intelligent immune system and we should basically just try to support that immune system the most we can instead of just suppressing it with drugs. So anyways guys, that's my take on it. That's usually what I do when I'm sick. Of course, there's other things you can take like um, garlic. There's this elderberry um, syrup that you can get. It's like a natural medicine. And that's the other thing I forgot to mention is you don't you don't have to take an over-the-counter like medicine like Robitussin, um, Tylenol. There are natural um, herbs and medicines that they make or companies that make for colds and flu. And elderberry <coughs> syrup is just one of them. Sambuca, I think it's called. I'm going to pronounce that wrong. I don't know. But, yeah, if you just go on iHerb and there's other websites like Vitacost or Amazon, but... Just type in natural medicine or natural cold. You should come up with a bunch of good natural products. And that's fine. You can take those. But I still think that doing the things that I mentioned in this video are very helpful. They help me. And you know what? They're going to help you too because you are a human. <laughs> I suspect if you're watching this video... Unless you're a really smart dog, because there's some dogs and animals that watch videos on YouTube too. But that would apply to you guys too. That would apply to you guys too. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down below in the comment section, do you guys take anything when you're sick? What do you do when you're sick? I'd love to hear about it. So with that, take care guys.